they got a little gym injury. Give me like a little. If my energy attracted you, you're a bad. Bitch. Good morning. We are on our way to the gym. It's been a long time since we've been to the gym. How long? Has it been? It's been like at least three weeks for me because that first. At first, our baby was sick. Then I got sick. And then I was on my period. So, how long has it been for you, babe? I didn't know. I put my baby down there, too. Okay, never mind. But it's been over. Is, it, is this overexposed to you? I mean, I can't look. I'm dry. Oh, that's right. Maybe not. Um, It's been over a month for you. I've been hurt. Oh. Yeah, so... So yeah, on the way to the gym, and y'all don't know how much I need this mentally, but also physically. Like the week just been, I'm not gonna say bad, but it's been crazy. A lot of things have been confirmed for me. And it's like I'm getting <laughs> what you laughing at. A lot of things have been confirmed for me. That's a good one. But in this moment though, I'm just like a little overwhelmed by life my thoughts so i'm excited to go to the gym i know that was a long-winded hello but it's been a while and i feel like when i haven't talked to y'all in a minute i just be so talkative because it'd be so much to say but anyways we're going to the gym gym bros Here y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how to make the CMOS gel in either this vlog or the next video. This is literally the easiest smoothie. Most simple smoothie ever, oops. Bad look, oh my goodness. I mean, my tripod does not zoom in. Like, it does not work. Like, excuse me. Ain't this cup cute, babe? Look. You're a hater. Have anybody? Yeah, I know. It's mad cute. Never gets old. I love this movie. It's early in the morning, but I wanted to do this voiceover while everyone is still asleep. So excuse my voice, but I am cleansing my face with Crave Beauty Hemp Matcha Cleanser. And I love this cleanser so freaking much. I recently switched over to Korean skincare and it's just been working really well for my skin. I'm drying my face off with a biodegradable face towel because if you didn't know towels can cause like bacteria and break your skin out then i'm using mix soon's bean essence and while i don't think this is like super necessary i really do love it and i love how it makes my skin feel you can either use it as an essence or exfoliate obviously this day i use it as an essence then my new holy grail i've been using this for about six weeks now this is mix soon's bean cream when i tell y'all this is the moisturizer i've been looking for all my life i've been using moisturizers just trying to find what works best for me but you know something that's not pore clogging but also intensely moisturizing this the one and then i go in with grapeseed oil because we love a glow and yeah this is the skincare routine that has been really helping my skin been gentle of course along with eating well i promise you nothing tops that but yeah this is what's working for me right now i'm so happy my apple pay works 
I haven't used it, but full of motion. It's not the right one. It's not the oh, the puff quinoa. Guys, this chocolate. I was looking for it the other day. Like literally, it was at night, and I was like, "Where is my chocolate?" And it was in my toe. This one, Hugh almond butter puff quinoa. So good. This is our lunch. We had to do it like to go because we gotta go get our daughter. We're running late. So we'll eat it in the car while we wait for her. We got rice, broccolini, and air fried barbecue tofu. Yeah, this is like my go-to. So yummy. So I'm back home now from picking my daughter up and we're about to make us a little pick-me-up. <coughs> yes, you do. So, what I mean when I say love is thaw, it's just that no one's ever asked me that. Like discrimination no, I just mean move with love, like regardless, that's law for me. Always so, move with love. So it's like a rule for you to move with Yes, like a value, like a, like a, like a moral, yes. Uh, okay. Love is law, move with love. Hold uh, on. That's what I mean. Thank you for asking that. You're such a curious girl. We love it. Agreed. And then we're gonna add a couple of one, well, we'll see. I'm gonna start off with one tablespoon of maple syrup and then go from there. We love it. By the way, this is the matcha that I used and I showed you earlier, but I'm not sure if you could see it, but this is the chai that I used as well. And <clears throat> I mean, it's the cinnamon that I use. Cinnamon is cinnamon, but yeah. Also, water. Your mind to stay hydrated. So we're having takeout, and I just want to show you guys everything we got. We got baby samosas, alu gabi masala, dog tarka, garlic naan. Um, and once I put it all up and take it out, I'll show you, but we love Indian food. On our way to the gym again today is friday december 1st and yeah it's glue day so we love glue day i'm excited about that what's what day is it for you sweetheart upper body day upper body because he got a little gym injury so he gotta be careful little... why are you putting quotations around i ain't put quotes uh then what are you doing with your hand i said he gotta be careful i don't think i did quotes yeah anyways just want to check in, that's what we're doing.
So I've been making me like a little green. What do you even call it? I don't even know. But this is a really good brand. Uh, Health Force Superfoods. Vitamin mineral green. And the ingredients are like it's it's i honestly i feel less bloated um which i don't have much bloat anyway unless i eat super processed but i feel less bloated bowel movements on point and yeah i just wanted to incorporate this into my lifestyle because sometimes i just don't be eating enough vegetables i don't need getting my greens in um also feel energized when i Take this. I should have took it before the gym, honestly. That would have been helpful. But I'm bougie. And I like to have it with coconut water. It tastes good to me. And I didn't have coconut water at home. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take it now. Also, haven't been taking this very long. I started taking it before I got sick. Um, So maybe a week. So if we put it all the time together, it's been about two weeks. But I really like this. I'll keep y'all updated on my opinion on this. Yeah, this crazy. And I'm going to say the other half for tomorrow. Yeah, the serving says a tablespoon, but I just take this. I actually don't know if this is a tea or a table, but put it in there. And then we drink it. I really like the taste of this, but I don't know if I would like the taste without my coconut water. I have not had it without coconut water. um so that might work hello good morning <sighs> i am about to go into the coffee shop today is december 2nd by the way i don't know if it holds any importance i think it will for what i want to say yeah um i've been really craving some time alone some solitude my mom is in town at my house been here for about a week and all i'm gonna say is I've had a lot of triggers, a lot of triggers. So just really needed, craved some time alone. So I'm just like gonna get a little cup of tea, read a little this book I've been reading, which I'm not, I'm saying I've been reading. Low key, y'all, high key. I've been in a little. Let me turn the car off because I don't like the noises it's making. Low key, high key. I've been in a little reading rut. I just read Asada, the biography of Asada Shakur. Amazing. The baddest bitch that's grace on this earth. Uh, Travis had been telling me for years, you need to read Asada, you need to read Asada, you need to read Asada. And so I finally did. And like from the first chapter, I was in it. But right now I'm reading this. I don't really have much of an opinion on it yet. I'm only 20 pages in. I started reading it last night. I will report back to y'all, let y'all know what I think about this book. But also, y'all, we haven't... My voice is still messed, like, kind of, like, not itself because my cold, I'm, my cold is over, but we haven't caught up. Like, I feel like if we doing a vlog, we have to catch up. I have to express how I'm feeling. So, as I told y'all, I think in the beginning of this vlog, life has been weird. It has been different. Because, what are these noises? My child was sick, I was sick, and then my period came. But then in the midst of all that, too, it was holiday season, and we actually did go home, um, like, to our hometown for the holidays. And my mom came back with us. So it's just like, if you think about it, for the past, really, four weeks, I really haven't had time to, like, get back to my life. And really just be in solitude and focus on myself. Somebody just pulled up beside me. But I'm going to keep talking. I'm not going to make eye contact. If you're a vlogger, 
you know. If you know, you know. But anyway, I just been feeling overwhelmed. It did feel really good to like go to the gym and work out and do some of the things that my body, my soul is used to doing. It's December 2nd, as I said in the beginning of this conversation. And I really just been reflecting on this year because we're about to embark on a new year, a new journey, um, the new calendar year. But um, yeah, I don't know. This year was crazy. It was weird. I'm really looking forward to the new year. I'm just really ready to be, and I know you shouldn't rush out of things, but that's just how, that's that's where I'm at. I'm ready for this year to be done with. It's been a crazy, weird, wild year. A lot of lessons, a lot of shit happened this year, like just in my personal life. It really affected me. It affected the way that I showed up for myself, for my community. Like I was just thinking about the fact that I took like six or seven months off of YouTube. I've never done that. And although like I love this and it don't seem like work, but this is actually my job. Like, bitch, you quit your job. You took a leave of absence for like seven months. I And like, I had to really think about that. And that had to like really sink in for me. It was an old man who was pulled up next to me. He probably wouldn't study me. But yeah, I had to like, I'm just like, wow, you really did that. And of course, I had... I didn't quit all of my job. I didn't take a leave of absence from all of my job. Like, you know, I did the podcast and, like, socials and stuff like that. But YouTube is, like, my main thing, honestly. It's one of my main things, my podcast and this. But I really had to let that sink in. And now I just have this energy where it's just like, okay, I experienced what I experienced. I, and I'm not mad at myself about it. I'm not mad about mad at myself for, like, not showing up because for a while I was I was like are you fucking kidding like I wanted to fight me but I'm not mad at myself a lot of growth took place during that time and it was just necessary I know myself a little bit more now I'm sure of myself and that's really all I want like I want to not doubt myself you don't understand how much time how much of my life I spent doubting myself doubting my being and what I'm capable of but right now I really and I'm saying right now but for the past like couple of months I really have had this energy where it's just like I'm gonna show up no matter what for myself but also in my artistry I'm really ready to grind it out because another thing I was just like I don't want to be in this space that I'm in mentally physically spiritually like i'm ready for growth although a lot of growth has happened i feel like there's so much more growth to be to happen you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna continue to show up i'm not gonna get in my head about anything i'm not like i'm i'm taking everything with a grain of salt like like it's, it's really not that serious that's where I am right now. It's not that serious. And I'm going to continue to show up. And my hand is getting tired. But yeah, just continue to show up and do what I need to do. I'm going to have faith in myself, in the universe, God, source, divine, whatever you refer to the high power as. But I'm going to continue to have that faith in myself and not stress either because when it comes to this content shit like i be stressing about the smallest things like i was in the bathroom this morning by the way i had an amazing morning i took a long hot shower listened to cleo so it's like my favorite thing to do and danced in the mirror it's a part morning but anyways in the midst of all that i'm like oh my god is my camera hot i think it's hot oh my god in the midst of all that i'm like oh my god i don't have a thumbnail for my for my video i'm like girl if you don't find some pictures if you don't do a screenshot of this video something because that's how i was in my last video i was like i don't have a thumbnail but i did a screenshot and we was gucci but like yeah i'm not finna stress about the small things i'm gonna show up and it's gonna happen how it's gonna happen like it's all good but yeah i'm about to go in this coffee shop and have some tea read this book and it's a little bookstore next door too so i think i'm gonna check that out after i leave because i'm not gonna be here for long because i haven't eaten it took me forever to get here because i was like getting my mama something to eat um picked up my daughter something to eat so it took me forever to get here 
So, yeah, I'm not going to be here long. Maybe 30 minutes. I just needed some time to recollect, to just exist alone. In a sense, not alone because there's other people in here. And I hope it's not packed, y'all. But, uh, yeah, let's have a conversation in the comments. How are you doing? How is your heart? How are you feeling? How are you feeling about the upcoming year? And no pressure. No pressure. You know what I'm saying? On, you know, being, it become. Damn, I cannot talk. No pressure on the new year approaching because I know <sighs> it's going to be a lot of that coming up. So, I want us to have goals. But I don't, I don't want us to be like so focused on the goals more so focused on ourselves and like our actions because truly that's what is going to help us get to where we want to be you know i'm at, i'm looking forward to new year i'm not even gonna i'm not gonna lie looking forward to it and also more of just meeting myself where i'm at like i know we look at the whole puzzle but i think i'm gonna I, I know I'm I've been beginning to and have been for a while focusing on little pieces of the puzzle because in order for us to complete the whole puzzle we have to get the little pieces just right so I'm all about meeting myself where I'm at like what do I need in this moment what do I need today what do I truly need let me know how y'all are doing honestly the comments talking to y'all in the comments is like my favorite part of this whole sharing my life thing but, um, yeah, I'm about to sit here. No, no, I'm not about to sit here. I'm about to go in a coffee shop. Give me some tea. Oh, no, something's happening here right now. <laughs> what is this? Hey, girl, how are you? Good. I didn't know something was happening in here today. There's a cute little message on there. I think maybe Brooklyn wrote it. Thank you, Brooklyn. I love the people in that coffee shop, bro. I didn't stay at the coffee shop because there were a ton of people in there. Um, and they were having like some kind of art show. So like it was a whole bunch of seating in there. So I was like, let me just get my tea to go. Because honestly, I just wanted to catch up on the vlog. Because I feel like I hadn't been able to really talk to y'all. And I just wanted some time alone. Mm. So good and hot. But yeah, I got my tea. And I went to the bookstore that's next door to it. And it's really cute. It's real cute. I just feel like they don't have enough um, books, specifically novels by authors of color. I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is. I do know what it is, but I really can't ex put it into words. But I love reading books, novels, specifically by authors of colors. It just hit different. It resonates different for obvious reasons. Reasons that are obvious to me that I won't get into. But this tea is amazing. Um, it's called the Breathe Tea. The Breathe. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. <clears throat> but it's spicy. It's so good. But I think I'm actually about to just sit here in this car. Something else I like to do is just like ride around through the city. Um... But it's kind of hard to do when I got my tea. Usually Travis will drive me and I can just sit my tea and sightsee, look around. I am a princess passenger, my, but not today. Um, But yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, I feel like all YouTubers be like, but yeah. All vloggers be like, but yeah. These past couple of years, I, I still showed up. So shout out to me. But I was really going through something. Like, I wasn't happy with my physical appearance. Like, my hair, you know, I was newly locked, okay? And that's a journey on its own, which I know a lot of y'all, out of the blue, like, my lock video got a hell of you. So, I'm going to be talking about my locks more, sharing routines more, and stuff like that. But, 
so I was just like I had I was newly locked and I was just really getting comfortable with my appearance with this vessel and then I had some issues with my skin I'm a, I think I'm pretty sure I share my skincare routine I'm gonna do a voiceover on that part but shout out to my new skincare routine shout out to Korean skincare because and I'm just keeping it so simple like cleanser and moisturizing and uh oil because I we love a glow we love a glow on most days I just like really ruin my skin and my skin barrier with western skincare all of these actives and acids like and on top of that my skin is so sensitive so I knew better but I say all that to say that my skin just did some wild ass shit because of me because of me and I just wasn't comfortable with my appearance but now I'm finally getting to a point where I'm comfortable with this vessel I'm confident in myself I'm confident in the way that I look and a bitch can't tell me nothing <laughs> and I'm happy to be here because it took me a while to get here so I, if I'm coming off cocky or you know arrogant I've been in a place where I did not like how I looked and being someone who shows up online it was really hard for me because I would not only have to you know I would have to be on camera but then I would have to edit that footage and see myself again so I'm happy to be in this space and I'm proud of me for not letting that stop me from showing up so if you where I'm at where I was babe you're gonna get through this it gets better you're beautiful you are gorgeous inside and out I know it if you're here if this video found you if my energy attracted you you're beautiful you're a bad bitch okay and it will get better if you're not feeling yourself right now it takes time and I know you get there because I got there I never thought I'd be here never I'm gonna just sit here sip my tea enjoy the silence listen to a little Cleo so maybe maybe pull out my journal I don't know my camera's dying though right on time <laughs> but I love you and I'm looking forward to having more conversations with you looking forward to showing up for myself and for you and I'll talk to you in our in my next video bye